Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, I returned to say thank you. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go, show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorifying God and fell on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. Luke 17, 14 to 16. Many times we say, up and thankful. But are we truly thankful? It does not matter what we say. The Lord said in his word that by their fruits you shall know them. Being ungrateful is like a cancer that eats us from the inside out. And if it is not treated, then it can ultimately cause our death. As we observe the children of Israel being in Egypt on the bondage, they cried to the Lord that the Lord miraculously delivered them with a mighty hand. But as soon as they went to the Red Sea and they saw a challenge, they started to murmur. But being faithful, God delivered them once more, proved who he was, and opened the Red Sea, causing them to walk on dry land. Still being faithful, God turned the bitter waters of Mara sweet, but still it was not good enough. Ultimately, this would cause all those who came out of Egypt to not make it into the promised land because of their ungratefulness to God. There are many of us who are joyful when God bless us, when we receive that new promotion, when we receive that car, we give God glory. Many times we take the favor of God for granted. Many times we treat God as a sugar daddy, <laughs> only coming to him when we are in need. But then as soon as he blesses us, then we can't be found. Many times we testify about how God is blessing us. But then as soon as a challenge presents itself, then we wallow in self-pity and is ready to give up. And Jesus answering said, We're not ten cleansed, but we are the nine. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. Times we get so caught up in church and get so caught up in our shoes and our clothes that we forget to have a relationship with the Lord, a relationship of thankfulness, a relationship of gratefulness. Understand this, that the nine might have received cleansing of the leprosy, but they were not healed. This one leper who returned showed that his healing was more than superficial. God doesn't only want to bless you in the physical, but God wants to make a change from the inside out. The quote of the day, God is not a sugar daddy. As you go today, go knowing that your life is a gift. So there's some bad things that might come your way. But the truth is, no matter how bad it is, the fact that you've got life, you should be thankful. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Hey, we may